But, hello guys on YouTube today, how are you guys today? Well, I got an on computer on my desk today for you guys can take a look at. It is a HP G71 uh, laptop computer. The only problem with this computer, it has a broken OCD and it has a missing uh, key. It has a missing AC adapter. But it's not missing the CPU, it's not missing the Wi-Fi, or missing the memory, or missing the hard drive, or the battery, or the octal drive, and it's not missing the modem as well. But it's a pretty uh, good laptop computer here. Uh, I think it's from 2008. It could be from 2008 or 2009, but I'm not 100% sure on when it was made. I am going to show you uh, some of the features this computer has. It has a microphone, uh, headphone jack, microphone jack, has your uh, display ports here for, uh, for your indicator lights, for your power, charging, and uh, hard disk drive. Um, on this side here, it has a connecting lock, it has the fan, VGA, uh, internet, uh, HDMI, USB 2. An SSD card reader on the back. It doesn't have anything on the back though. And it also has just a standard DVD drive, two more USB ports, a, a, a phone jack here, and your PAL uh, jack here. On the bottom of this computer, there's the bottom of the Laptop here, there was the battery, memory, and the hard drive and stuff is down below. I did clean this computer before. Uh, I took it all apart. Uh, works pretty good. So for a couple of the features, it is kind of is broken on it. It is missing the F uh, the F8 key uh, button here, but it's still can work. But it's missing the key though. The keyboard is full, mostly half fully intact. It does have a Windows 7 Home Premium inside of it. It also has an Intel Core i2 processor inside of it. It has 4 gigs of RAM. It's all SATA. It has a 320 gigabyte uh, hard drive in it. It's also SATA. It also has your uh, trackpad, your power button, Wi-Fi button, and speakers on top. And it's a pretty good uh, computer. Uh, let's go ahead and plug them in to kind of show you what's going on here. And what do I mean? It has a broken OCD. It starts up fine. There's the broken OCD, guys. Eh, eh yeah, well, what can you do, guys? You know, it's broken. You know, it's nothing you can do with a broken screen. I mean, it does work. I can uh, get it to go back into Windows. It does have the operating system installed on the uh, hard drive and stuff like that. It's just a standard Windows uh, operating system, you know, standard Windows 7. And yes, I did take a port cleaned all, and I did put Arctic Silver 5 on it on the processor for better, more of a heat. Uh, transfer. Uh, the sound face was pretty dry and it was very clogged with dust and uh, stuff like that. But that's okay, you know, that happens. Uh, oh, laptop computers get that way when they get clogged with dust and stuff inside of them. But like I said, once, once in a time, if you kind of take them apart and clean them, they run a lot better, but I don't recommend taking them apart if you have a chance on your computer. Now, this computer I could probably upgrade at a later date. There's a small tube of Arctic Silver 5. It's just a standard Soma Paste compound I'm, I'm using a lot. It's a pretty nice computer. Um, all nowadays with uh, computers, it's having SATA technology in it. You cannot buy a ID hard drive and stick inside of uh, this computer, and you can't buy a, a SATA drive for ID uh, laptop computer either. 
like this. Uh, let's know. Oh, the Seagate. This is a Seagate uh, IDD 160 gigabyte hall drive. Uh, this one off it in this laptop here. It's not the right size. This is a uh, sticker memory. This is DDR2 memory here. Uh, it's only uh, 512 MB uh, MB memory. Uh, this is also DDR2. The laptop is also memory DDR2 as well. Here's a very old uh, Intel uh, chip here from the night from 1997. You see there was the uh, date code, if you guys are wondering, the date code is right there. So a pretty old CPU. And again, not all of the things going to fit inside of a new computer because of the motherboard. And I had to shut this down the hallway because the screen is broken. I can't kind of shut it down without look where it's uh, at. Um, I just had to hold shit it down, and normally I don't like to do that with uh, computers like that. You can see this, the screen's broken. It does have a webcam and microphone and stuff like that, guys. But I will eventually uh, fix this computer, do more research on this computer, and also do some more. Uh, I might do some mods to it. I might uh, fix it up, uh, upgrade it. Uh, with um, Bluetooth as well. And by the way, you guys cannot use DDR3 on a DDR2 platform. This is DDR3. You can see the notch is completely different on from the DDR2 memory. It is DDR2 memory. Completely different of DDR3. Can't buy DDR3 and stick in a DDR2 laptop computer. And this is my Bluetooth Wi-Fi card. Also, it's for my computer, not for this computer yet, but I will order a Bluetooth Wi-Fi card for this computer. And I will also install a Blu-ray drive as well on this computer as well. And this is also a SATA drive. Same with that one is a SATA drive. Um, also, I am going to upgrade the whole drive doing um, the Wi-Fi called in the, the DVD drive inside of this computer. Uh, the hard drive I'm going to upgrade it to would be, I'm going to be upgrading it to a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I'm going to put Windows 7 Home Premium back in it. I'm going to also put maybe 8 gigs of RAM inside of it and a Bluetooth Wi-Fi called and also a Blu-ray drive as well on uh, this computer. Well, like I said, it's it's been a good computer. I mean, it's a 17-inch display, 0.5, pretty nice display on side. It's pretty bigger than my 15-inch uh, uh, display. It's a pretty nice computer. But like I said, it just has all the different functions of a regular computer, but it is a regular computer. And by the way. You can't take, I don't know if you guys can upgrade the CPU on this computer to a i3 or i5 or a i7 because of the type of motherboard um, this uh, computer has inside of it. It would be a different way to, uh, a different way to upgrade uh, stuff inside of it. Um, it does have some nicks and scratches on it, but you know what? That's just that plastic that gets very scratched, and I mean, very easy to get scratched. I mean, what 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 can you do preventing your <coughs> computer from getting scratched, guys? But like I said, you can't stick a uh, you can't stick DDR uh, three on this computer. You can stick DDR two on it. You can't stick this old uh, CPU inside all. And you cannot stick this 160 uh, gigabyte IED drive inside of this SATA drive computer. And all I did was take it apart, cleaned it, and it works just fine now. It's going to need some work on it. Um, not like the IBM uh, ThinkPad T43 computer is going to need a lot of work. 
this computer is going to not need that much work. And I just stuck Arctic 05 on it uh, to uh, keep the computer from overheating itself. And the one thing uh, I dislike about all laptop computers is the so compact and the very, uh, very hard to uh, clean because one, after you open the laptop, you avoid your warranty anyways, guys. Um, that's the only biggest down downfall with any type of computer, laptop computer, desktop computer. After you open or after you remove uh, the uh, panel or the the, the uh, pad panel hill, the prom rust panel, after you open it, guys, you're out of luck. You, you have no more warranty on your computer. But mostly HP only gives you one year warranty anyways, guys, but that's okay. This computer here is from 2009, any, or 2008. From to, maybe from 2008 to 2009, but it is a nice computer. Uh, like I said, you know, you got your headphone jack, mic, you know, microphone jack, your old, your old e, uh, for power charging and hard drive, and your Kenderson lock, your fan. This was for dust, I was with a lot of dust bunnies inside of it. DJ video, uh, internet, uh, HDMI, USB 2, uh, SSD card reader, again, nothing on the back of the computer. Let's say standard DVD drive, uh, USB 2 modem and power jack right there. And again, you know, basic stuff, nothing on the bottom, too much on this computer. The battery, memory, and the RAM and uh, hard drives right here. And by the way, the key on this computer is completely worn off. But that's okay. That's fine, I'm not worried about it. It does have a webcam, it has an LD and a microphone for the webcam to turn on. Uh, it has the power button, the Wi Fi button does not turn on with the battery, the battery's uh, dead. It has a full size keyboard, so for it's missing a key though. Your left and right, and your smart, and your very small trackpad. And it's the HP G671. Has a cool uh, Intel Core dual processor and uh, Windows 7 Home Premium inside of this computer. And it has a broken LCD, missing key, and also a missing uh, AC adapter. But this computer, eh, those are the only three things I'm going to be working on this computer is replacing the LCD screen and also the keyboard and I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive Wi-Fi called memory and DVD drive. And that's about and that's about it for this computer. It's not like it's missing tons and tons of parts like the old IBM ThinkPad T46 or T43 computer. But well, like I said, this is a only a DDR2 platform of memory. It means I cannot buy DDR3 to stick in a DDR platform laptop computer, guys. It's not just going to it's not going to work that way, guys. Because you have to figure out what's going to be compatible with your computer. Okay, say you uh, okay, let's be silly here. Say you buy the long memory DDR3. It's going to fit in your laptop. Uh, the answer is going to be no because it's only a DDR2 memory. Like, the DDR2 here is different than DDR3. But like I said, this is just a non-computer. This is gonna be a non-spill computer, because if any of the own computers does go down in the house, I'll have two extra computers here, spare electronics, you know, I was like, I don't know what to do with all these dang computers, guys. Alright guys, I hope you please subscribe, uh, please leave a comment, please like, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next